Hi, good morning. I'm Dr. Ed Franklin with the Department of Agricultural Education, Technology, Innovation at the University of Arizona. Today I want to talk a little about solar PV modules, how they function, how we can measure their output, and how we interpret the information that we find on the back of this module. If you're shopping around for solar PV modules for a project, one of the things that you want to look for on the back of the module is a cut sheet. So the information on this cut sheet is going to be really important to you, and I'm going to walk you through on what some of this information actually means. This particular module is rated at 20 watts of power. So the value we're looking here is at 20 watts, and we're going to see uh, the verbiage here, P max. So that talks about 20 watts of power. One of the other pieces of information that we obtained from the cut sheet on the back of the solar module is operating voltage. So this module rated at 20 watts is rated to produce 17.2 volts. So this particular module works well with a 12 volt battery system as it'll have enough power to move volts from the module into a 12 volt battery. We also see that it is rated at an operating current of 1.16 amps. So a, a very small uh, DC rated pump, for example, can run off this module if it requires around 2 amps. This particular module will put out 1.16 amps under full sun conditions. Two other pieces of information that we draw off this cut sheet is open circuit voltage, which is 21.6 volts. An open circuit voltage value will always be higher than our operating voltage. With open circuit voltage, there is no resistance and there's no load, so this value will always be higher, typically, than our operating voltage. What we're going to do now is I'm going to demonstrate how to measure open circuit voltage on this solar module. And we're going to use a digital multimeter with leads and our pyranometer or solar radiance meter. Okay. We're going to use our digital multimeter here to actually measure the uh, open circuit voltage on the solar module. So what I'm going to do is I'll set my meter to voltage and I'll make sure it's measuring direct current voltage. I'm going to take the ends of the leads, connect them to the ends of our solar module. So I have the red positive to the red connection on the solar module and the black negative um, lead to the black connector on the solar module. Right now we have our multimeter connected up to our solar module. We have our leads from the multimeter connected up with the positive red lead connected to the red wire coming off of our solar module and the black uh, negative lead connected to the black wire of our solar module. We would be expecting to get a little over 21 volts and looking at our multimeter we are obtaining a value of 21.4 volts and if we adjust the tilt we can see that the value changes a little bit. We're now at 20.42. We know we have a, a cloudy or hazy day, so we don't have ideal clear sun conditions, so we'd expect our value uh, that we obtain to be a little less than ideal. But this is one way that you can actually measure the output of your solar module and then determine what is the optimum angle and tilt of the location of your module. 